Hi YouTube and welcome to my latest vlog. Uh, it is Saturday today, it's been a crazy busy week and I haven't really had a chance to do a lot of uh, vlog uh, shooting. Today is Saturday and I'm actually at, uh, as you can probably see I'm not at home, I'm at our co-working space. Um, I'm running some errands in the neighborhood and I thought about to do a little bit of work in between and thought it would be a perfect time to do a little vlog post. Um, I wanted to talk about something that people ask me about a lot, which is the energy, the energy level. I'm pretty known for a pretty high energy and always being super positive and super happy and kind of um, projecting a lot of that energy onto other people as well. And a lot of the times people are like, how do you, where do you get that energy from and how do you keep it up? So I do have actually six tips for you that help me to keep my energy level up and I hope that they're gonna help you to. Energy creates energy. What that basically means is when you decide that you're going to be happy and positive uh, and you come to the office with a smile that somehow amplifies itself and it creates a lot of positivity around you. I'm a, um, very, very well known for like loving the Monday mornings. I always come into the office. I'm super positive and super happy pump with energy uh, and I think that that creates a circle of energy that's being amplified. So I really encourage you to first start from here. There's been a lot of conversations about uh, mindfulness and meditation. I'm a very impatient person so I can't really sit for like 20 minutes and like think about nothing. It's just not in my nature. I can't do it. So what I do instead is every single morning I write a diary. That gives me 10 minutes when I'm actually concentrating on the day ahead. And what I mean by diary is I'm just writing how I'm feeling, what the day is going to bring, what I'm going to make of that day, what I want to achieve, um, just any thoughts that come to my head and then I write three things that I did really well yesterday and three things that I am grateful for. And it's a fantastic way to start every single day uh, with um, gratitude and with just kind of centering your thoughts around uh, what's to come. I really, really recommend that. Something that people don't often think has a connection with your energy level is actually your food and what you eat. Uh, the more greasy and heavy food you eat, the less energy you're gonna have and the more tired you're gonna feel. So I put a lot of um, effort into making sure that I eat really, really healthy. So a lot of salads and light food and fruits and vegetables and I very seldom eat like super greasy or heavy food, uh, but especially lunch, right? It's super important. Like if I go and have some of these delicious local noodles, which I love, but if I have them during lunch, the next two hours are gonna be like, I'm gonna be dead. So I normally have a salad, which is light enough um, and um, yeah, make, uh, ensures that I, I, I'm still um, not uh, snoozing in the afternoon. Something I'm a very big fan of is doing sports in the morning. I've talked about this a lot and I love to start my morning. I wake up normally at 6 or 6.30 and I always go for a run, either outside or for a treadmill. I normally don't do like heavy lifting in the mornings. Actually, this morning I did, um, but I just don't feel good. Like I don't feel strong and I, every time I do it, I'm like, why did I chose to do this workout? So normally it's just some kind of um, cardio that I do uh, really wakes me up. It's not super heavy, not super long. Um, just take half an hour, do like, should basically get your blood circulating and, and wakes you up really nicely. And regardless of how tired I was when I wake up, after the morning run, I never, ever, ever feel tired. So that's a very, very good tip to start your morning off with. Do you know that saying, if you want something done, give it to the busy person? I am a big believer in that and I actually manifest that a lot in my own life. Like the more things I have to tick off my to-do list, the uh, more productive I am. Like the more things I have on my schedule, the, the busier I am and that means that I have to have a lot of energy to get all these things done. So my tip is actually to keep your schedule full. I mean, if you have two hours in the day when you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna be reading through my emails, you're gonna fall asleep halfway through because it's like very low paced job and you don't really need to um, you know, engage a lot in, in what you're doing. Um, so I avoid these kinds of things. I always make sure that there is some kind of interaction that I have 
um, you know, throughout the day um, that I am either in meetings or I do something that requires me to think, 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 right? And then send it off and then I go to the next thing. Like I really make sure that there's a lot of things in my schedule that doesn't really allow me any time to think whether I'm tired or whether I feel like doing something or whether I feel energetic or positive. I just don't have time for that. Um, and that to me creates this kind of a loop and momentum that's very difficult to break um, because there's just so much energy and you roll on that. Remember to balance your life. So remember to take breaks, remember to spend time with your family or friends or doing something that you really, really love. So whenever um, you are having a very busy period, remember to, to balance it out with, with other things to let your mind and your body rest. Uh, that will help you definitely to keep up your energy and to make sure that whenever you are working and concentrating on work, you can be 100% present and 100% positive and energetic. Hope that you guys like the tips and hope that you will find them useful. I'm going to be continuing here with lots of energy um, by my laptop, uh, powered by Starbucks. And they're not paying me for these um, ads, by the way. I just happen to really, really love them. And there's one downstairs of the office building. So I do visit them quite often. Anyways, I hope that uh, you're having a great week ahead. And uh, yeah, put those tips into practice and see whether it makes a difference for you. And I'll see you next time. running around um, so yeah now back home and continuing with some more crunch 